This is Grinding the Axe with your host, Devontae Hill, where we get to see what crazy thing I do next. Since I went mountain biking the previous weekend, I needed to do something less intense. I decided to explore the amazing world of canoeing. As soon as I heard the rec center was featuring a canoeing trip, I couldn't wait to put my camera into harm's way for my amusement. And an early Saturday morning, a group of us met at the rec center to introduce ourselves by the means of hurling tennis balls at each other. Thank you, Thank you, guys. Before we actually hit the water, we needed to learn some basic skills. Evan, the coordinator of the trip, did a great job showing us the different parts of a canoe and paddle, as well as showing us useful paddling strokes. Reach your paddle out in front of you to the side, place it in about where your toes would be, and then remember we're not digging the water past us, we're placing it firmly in the water and imagining that we're drawing our body up to the paddle, all right? We even learned how to tie a bow in knot. Your wabbit is gonna come out of his hole, he's gonna look around, it's safe. So he's gonna go, behind the tree, and then he's going to see Elmer Fudd, and Elmer Fudd's going to say, you wascally wabbit, or whatever he says, Wabbit <laughs> and the wabbit's going to freak out and jump back down into his hole, at which point you're going to grab him by the head, you're going to grab the tree, and pull it. Now sure, this stuff was fun, but the real story was in the water. I don't know how to explain it, but there's something about nature that makes you feel calm and at peace. Although you heard the chirping of birds and the different sounds that insects make, it's strangely quiet. It's nice to not hear car engines and air conditioners or your roommate snoring during an afternoon nap. If you're thinking about going on a canoeing trip, make sure to take your friends. It'll give you a chance to get closer to them and create some good bonding time. Yes, eat the sandwich. Bite. See a little bite going. Come on up. For those of you who are thrill seekers, you have plenty of opportunities to test your skills by dodging logs and fallen trees. Congratulations, you've uh, just paddled 10 miles down the wild and mighty Natchez River. Quick, uh, quick question. What you expected, not what you expected. When you first heard we're paddling between eight and nine, close to 10 miles, what went through your head? I got footage and uh, you'll see it. <laughs> yeah, I accomplished my goal. <laughs> um, I was hoping to see a gator, um, but the little green lizard um, was sufficient. Fantastic. I thank Outdoor Pursuits for hosting another amazing event. Tune in next week when we reach new heights with skydiving. This has been Grinding the X with your host, Devontae Hill. I'll see you later. <laughs>